one guys let's do this problem right here so we have the question the spring is mounted horizontally with the uh, with its left and fixed the spring and balance attached to the free and pull toward the right indicates that the stretching force is proportional to the displacement and the force of 6 newton causes a displacement of 0.3 meter 0.03 we replace the spring balance with 0.5 kilogram glider and the question is asking find the k so first of all we have this information right here 6 newton causes a displacement of 0.3 meters so this is what we are going to do to use to find the k so we, we have the equation that fx is equal to minus kx so the question is k if i rearrange this one this is going to be k is equal to fx over minus x and that's going to be fx we know that is 6 newton that's provided right here minus and divided by this uh, this distance 0 0.03 mm. and also this one is the direction is let's see so horizontal mount was only with its left and fixed the spring one has a trajectory and pull toward the right integral stretching proportional to the distance was in 0 0.3 meter and this direction also negative right here so this direction is negative and this is negative 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 become positive right here so this is gonna be 200 newton per meter and that's the answer for the first question and the second question is asking find the angular frequency so this is a part b part we are doing so omega omega is equal to square root of k over m we know the k already 200 newton per meter and the m mass is provided right here so we can use that to find the omega that's going to be k 200 divided by this mass that is 0 0.5 that gives us 20 radians per second because this is going to be 400 and square root of 400 is going to be 20 radians per second and then they are asking for the frequency so I can use uh, omega is equal to 2 phi f f is going to be equal to omega over 2 phi and we know the omega already that is 20 divided by 2 phi and that gives us 3.2 hertz then the question is asking to find the period so period is going to be inverse of frequency t is equal to 1 over f 1 over 3.2 and that gives us 0 0.31 second and that's the answer for this question i hope you guys like this video see you next time